Well, good morning, everybody. It's Rose, and I am here with you to fill you in on some completed diamond painting projects. Uh, today's September 20th, and I am going to fill you in on a number of the projects that I've completed while I was in London with my father. So um, this is one that I call Bear with Butterfly. And it's a 40 by 50 square drill canvas that I purchased from Uijia store on AliExpress. Now, I fell in love with Uijia even before I placed the first drill on any of their diamond paintings. This actually is the first diamond painting of theirs that I've worked on. And I probably have, I don't know, six or 10 of them in my inventory. So I'm glad that I enjoyed doing this one because otherwise it would have been, um, well, not pleasant. Um, so I wanna walk you through what some of my comments were when I was working on this and I'll show you the diamond painting up close and personal and so forth. Okay, so um, just as a little bit of a refresher, uh, this diamond painting was delivered to me on May 27th of 2019. Uh, and I'm going to link the unboxing video up in the corner here so that if you want to go back and, you know, check it out, you can see that. It's a paint, like, it's a diamond painting of an image by an artist named Harriet Peck Taylor. And when I saw this, I just loved it. I loved the joyfulness of it. I loved the color. I loved the, I just, oh my goodness, everything about the image, I just loved. And so I was hoping that the uh, diamond painting would um, would match up to what I saw on the, can like on the image. And given the, that the size is 40 by 50, I think it did a fantastic job. Um, so I'm gonna just take you out of the holder while I, um, bring you down so that I can talk to you about some of the uh, experience that I had with this diamond painting. All right, I've got two, hand, two phones in my hand because one of them has my notes, and well, they both have my notes, but one of them is actually shooting the, the, the picture, so I can't, um, I can't read my notes from it. Okay, so um, I started working on this on July 8th, so the last time that I was in London, and then I finished it on August 18th, uh, five days after I got to London the second time. And um, I did not work on it in between. Um, so I wanna give you like sort of highlights first, and that is that there were no popping drills, none, zero popping drills, which as many of you know, Popping drills has been the bane of my existence while I've been doing another a number of um, diamond paintings that I got from Paint with Diamonds uh, recently and Hua Can uh, that um, all of them were bought last fall. Uh, so anyway, so um, like I say, there were no popping drills. But as I'm moving the camera along on this diamond painting, what you might see is that the drills, they don't, well, they fit together nicely, but they're just a tiny, in some cases, they're just a teeny tiny bit too small, um, which overall is not a problem. Like, I, I think it's more noticeable in the light colors here. Um, and there's a few few areas where there are clouds. And because the drills are maybe just a teeny smidge smaller than the squares, there's a little bit of space in between. And, and when I really zoom in here, you can see the, the grid lines in between the drills. But we're supposed to consider diamond paintings from three feet away. And I'm about three feet away now and you cannot see the gaps. Well, you, you can see them, you can't really notice them. They don't detract from the picture in any way. And looking through the camera lens, you really don't notice them. 
well, I'm looking at it on a small screen, but you really don't notice it too much. Um, I loved, loved, loved working on this diamond painting. Um, it was just, it was just fantastic. There were absolutely, the drills were absolutely fantastic. Uh, there were, there was almost no trash at all. And I will um, show you the trash and the spare drills um, in just a little while. Um, there were tons of leftover drills. So Uijia, as you might recall from my unboxings of the many diamond paintings that I've brought, bought from them, sends way more drills than are required for any given diamond painting. And so I've got tons and tons of spares. So, okay, so I'm just, I'm just bringing you in nice and close here. Now, the sun is not shining on, like, through my window yet. Um, that happens a little bit later in the day. Uh, and, um, and so you can't really get the, the sparkle of the diamonds, but they are quite shiny. And this is going to look really, really nice. And I just see there, there's a little diamond missing. Um, and I think that, uh, I don't know what... Uh, I'll have to I'll have to find a spare. I happen to have tons of them. Anyway, um, so that's it. Uh, one one drill popped off. Well, it didn't pop off. It it fell off uh, because this thing has been moved around so many times. It's been put into and out of my travel portfolio, and you know I'm not always gentle when I'm putting things in there, and so I'm surprised that only one diamond has popped off. Um, and I'll just fix that actually when I'm doing the um, the spare drills. So let's do that right now. I'll put you back in the holder. There we go. Okay, so here are my leftover drills for this uh, diamond painting. I'm going to just pour them out onto the canvas so that you can see just how much I have of everything. Okay, um, so I have, for some colors, I've got in here, there are one, two, three, four bags plus the remainder of the bag that I was working on that are left over. Um, here, it's one bag and a little bit. Here, it's one bag. And a little bit. Um, this here, it looks to be almost a full bag. Um, again, here I have. Uh, is it? It's. I think it might be two bags. Yeah, it's two bags. Plus, here it's one bag. I mean, I think you're getting it. Like here I have, uh, that's three, three bags extra. Here, three bags extra plus the one that I was working on. Um, so there are a lot, a lot of spare drills. And again, because they're good quality drills, I am going to be happy to use these on other diamond paintings. I'm looking for the the one that um, fell off, and I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm just going to take one of these. It's a 792, and there's a spare bag of those as well. So. I just worked out of baggies because um, uh, because at my dad's place, like I, I was very conscious of the fact that um, I didn't want to I didn't want to be taking up an inordinate amount of space because there were so many of us there, either looking after him or you know people visiting. And so I wanted to keep my 
uh, diamond painting area to the smallest possible space. Okay, so that's all of my spare drills for this one. And I'll just put them back in the bag. Uh, but first, I'm just gonna hold this up to the light to make sure that there are no more uh, missing drills. No, there are no more missing drills. It's it's all good. Okay, so I have not sealed this, and I don't plan to seal it um, because I think it looks great the way it is, and because there's no fear of popping, um, I don't think it needs to be sealed, and I don't want to do anything at all to detract from uh, the shine and and. Uh, the sparkle. I think uh, it's really pretty. This one I might end up framing. I don't know. We'll see. I really, really liked doing it. So, um, so this one is a maybe and it's got the bright, happy colors that I like. So this is a candidate for, um, this is a candidate for framing for me and, uh, and mounting on my wall somewhere. So that's it. That's the bear with the butterflies. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do was to show you the trash. So while I was there, what I did was I uh, kept um, containers uh, that I labeled, uh, not very well, um, but that I labeled uh, for the trash for each one of the diamond paintings that I finished. I finished six diamond paintings while I was in London uh, this month. So here is all of the trash for this diamond painting and as you see there's very very few drills that have any kind of problems most of the trash are just the little plastic balls uh you know the resin balls from the manufacturing process that wound up in the bags and like that really is look at that there's there's almost nothing compared to one of the other diamond paintings that I finished that I'll show you, uh, this is nothing. So there, that's it. That's my review of the Bear with Butterfly from the Uijia store on AliExpress. Uh, overall, I enjoyed everything about this diamond painting. The only thing that I would have liked is if the drills, especially these light colored drills here, were just a tiny bit larger so that they didn't leave gaps um, and uh, and that's too bad but that's what it is um, I must admit I'd rather have gaps than than popping so there you go um, there was no satisfying snapping of drills into place um, so far the diamond painting company that does the best snapping that I've come across is ever moment but um, but Uijia, a super diamond painting experience. I really enjoyed it. I love the way the picture turned out. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. To all my patrons, thank you very much for your support. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. For all of my viewers and my subscribers, you know I love you. You know this is that you're the reason that I do this. And I hope that you come back and visit with me again soon. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.